Florida to require high school financial literacy class to graduate. And this right here is a headshot directly at communism. Because communism and financial literacy are mutually exclusive. It will soon be reading, writing, and return on investments for Sunshine State students. A bill signed by uh, Governor Ron DeSantis on Tuesday requires all Florida kids to take and pass basic financial literacy courses to graduate from high school. Now, the sad thing is there are always going to be exceptions. I brought up that story um, a few times before how when I was in high school. I knew a girl who in her senior year, she still hasn't passed ninth grade algebra. And yet she still graduated, even though you needed four math credits to graduate. She had zero math credits. She couldn't even pass the easiest math class in the school. And somehow she still got her diploma. So obviously these schools don't give a fuck, but some might. So th th this might positively impact some students. The skills prioritized by the legislation will be applicable in their lives, regardless of what path they take, DeSantis uh, said uh, Tuesday at a Tampa press conference. Yeah, so, you know, there's another reason that uh, economics or basic financial literacy have not been requirements in high school for a while. If these kids were financially literate, do you think they would consider it a good idea to get six figures into debt to find out what they want to do in life without a much better plan than that? Yeah, no, the colleges don't like financial literacy. Now, worth half a credit, the course will be required beginning in the current year plus one to plus two school year, the Florida governor said. This will provide a foundation for students to learn about the basics of money management, understanding debt, understanding how to balance a checkbook, understanding the fundamentals of investing, he said. And understanding what makes a bad investment. Like what I just mentioned, getting six figures into debt to try to find what you want to do in life. Jan Lee Espinal, a Brooklyn native who works with the nonprofit Next Gen Personal Finance, also endorsed the uh, spirit of the legislation at Tuesday's press conference. As a daughter of uh, immigrant parents, we were a household. Uh, we were in a household where it was cash only. She said, "So I realized very quickly that online banking, investment apps, trading apps, budgeting apps, cryptocurrency—the world of money is changing so fast. And if we don't help our students keep up, the next generation is going to repeat the cycles uh, of a lack of financial literacy." Yeah, do you want to end up making the same mistakes your parents did? No? Then learn yourself some knowledge. Yeah, concerned over a lack of basic money management skills among young Americans, an increasing number of states are seeking to incorporate or require financial literacy classes in their curriculums. Some of you guys have been with me from the start, like going all the way back to like eight years. Even back then, was I not bitching about how uh, schools don't require economics anymore? It's funny how it took the government almost an entire decade to catch up to where I was. No one, no, no one cares though. I'm, I'm just a random idiot screaming into a mic on the internet. Now, obviously, I'm just a moron. You, you shouldn't take me seriously. I'm not an expert.